Up next tonight, the links between Ukraine and southern Scotland stretch back more than a century. Sites including the chapel near Lockerbie, which was built by Ukrainian prisoners of war, highlight the impact that people from that country have had here in our region. More recently, of course, we've welcomed refugees since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And now a retired Dumfries teacher has written a new book about the lives and journeys of some of those Ukrainians who originally settled here. Our reporter James Mahan caught up with him earlier this week. From Lockerbie to Stranraer and Hoyt to Longtown, Ukrainians have had an impact in our region. For author Peter Cormillo, documenting their history was also an opportunity to reflect on his own heritage. I researched all the camps and hostels in Scotland, 44 of them, where there were Ukrainians domiciled. Uh, and that's been a really interesting piece of research. So I've interviewed displaced persons, refugees and uh, former soldiers, either of the Polish Armed Forces, the Canadian Armed Forces or the Galicia Division. In total, 65 people's stories from across the borders were used to create the book. And the Ukrainians who came to Scotland followed the Jews to Glasgow and Edinburgh and began to work for them to make enough money to go on to Canada. So the very early uh, Ukrainians that came through Scotland are actually the most interesting group to study. The book was launched at the historical home of J.M. Barry in Dumfries. Uh, our mission is to grow a love of books amongst the youngest of readers because we all know that children who read become adults who read and that makes such a difference in their lives. Um, that's why it's lovely that Peter chose Mowbray as his, um, to launch his book here and it certainly shows how books can open up a whole world and bring us all together. All photos dating back to the early 1900s were donated for the publication by family members and descendants. And I've lived with all these Ukrainians and that first generation have now gone, but I lived with them, I observed them, I witnessed them, and, I mean, they always said to me, please write something. Peter hopes to share the book and its stories to Ukrainian readers in Europe in the months ahead, with the Ukrainian translation also in the works. James Mann, ITV News, Dumfries.